Hello and welcome to the Jonathan Miles Show. The only news show on the internet. Okay. I'm your host, Jonathan Miles. Now for today's top story. That's enough of that. Five activists were arrested in Moscow this morning attempting to petition Russian authorities to investigate the kidnapping and torture of gay men in Chechnya. Uh, Janet, what's the source for that? Buzzfeed? Probably fake. Probably not real. Probably never happened. But if it did happen, if it did happen, that would be awful. In other news, White House news, White House, the home of Donald Trump, Still the president. The White House is furious. Bob, houses can have feelings now? Oh, you mean the top, the officials, the representation? Okay. Anyway, they're furious. They're mad after Russia posted photos from a meeting Trump had, a secret meeting, closed to United States uh, media, with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov close enough, and Russia's ambassador to the U.S. Sneaky Russians. Making our president look foolish. That's our media's job. Speaking of our media, in journalism news, the Washington Post, which is, I believe is a real newspaper. Janet, that's a real newspaper? Yeah? They still exist. Issued an editor's note, and I didn't even write it down because it's so long, but it's, it's brilliant. Let's just... Let's bring that up. DJ, can you bring that up? Make it big? All right. So here is the full editor's note from the Washington Post. Editor's note. This story has been updated. They're, they released a story about Sean Spicer hiding in bushes. And the internet was like, let's go meme crazy. This is their, uh, it's not really a retraction. It's just an edit and it's hilarious. This story has been updated to more precisely describe White House press secretary Sean Spicer's location late Tuesday night in the minutes before he briefed reporters. Spicer huddled with his staff among bushes, among bushes, near television sets on the White House grounds, not in the bushes, as the story originally stated. See? Completely different. Completely different. Not in the bushes, just among them. It's like if somebody said, I'm not in the closet, I'm among the closets. <sighs> I'm not saying Sean Spicer's gay, but if he is, it gets better. Come out, come out, Sean Spicer. I'm sure he's watching this. Moving on. What do you say, Philip? We should move on? Yeah, I know it's confusing. It probably is really confusing to anybody who's never seen the show before that I'm just talking to random people that, you, that are off camera. It's fine. In sports, the Anaheim Ducks beat the Edmonton Oilers in Game 7. The Ducks will advance to the Western Conference Finals to play the Nashville Predators. Man, hockey has some silly-ass names, don't they? Ducks, Oilers, Predators. Well, I guess Ducks is normal. Well, then again, I grew up with the, the Mighty Ducks. That flying V. I think the Ducks go all the way. What do you think, Janet? No? Okay. In gaming news, the Sims Mobile... Sims Mobile? Sims Mobile? The Sims Mobile is finally coming to iOS and Android for free! I, for one, can't wait to create a Sims character who then plays the Sims Mobile. And then, on that game, he creates a character that plays the Sims Mobile. And then they, on that game, he just kind of a Russian doll scenario. <gasps> the Russians. All right, holidays. Today is Eat What You Want Day, sponsored by uh, Weight Watchers. Eat whatever you want. Another pe another person? Sure, go for it. According to this holiday, um, it's also funny enough, Hostess Cupcake Day. Maybe it's Hostess and Weight Watchers. 
that are sponsoring this these so-called hol holidays. This wouldn't be a quote, right? That would just be this would be half a quote. It's also make a book day. I guess make a book. I don't, I don't know. I don't know who creates these holidays really. Uh, it's National Children's Mental Health Awareness Day. Uh, so yeah, that's a it's a sobering one. And then Twilight Zone Day. So I guess watch some Twilight Zone. Really good show. Great writing. Uh, crazy twist at the end, you know? And that brings us to today's sponsors. First up, Oscorp. Altering the future from the cell to the superstructure. Yes, yes, our CEO, Norman Osborne, does look a lot like Willem Dafoe. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm sure nothing bad's going to happen. Which brings us to Ace Chemicals. Accidentally knocked the red hood into one of our vats. I'm sure that won't backfire. And finally, LexCorp. Screw Oscorp. Oh wait, those are in different universes? Fair enough. Let's build a better tomorrow today by killing Superman. Okay, that's our show. What a great show. <laughs> Thanks for watching. As always, hope you had fun. I know I sure did. Until tomorrow, love yourself and each other. All right, play me out, DJ. What do we got? Spooky.